Hello everyone, welcome to March. It's exciting that as the temperature is warming up, uh, we also see conditions in our pandemic decreasing and that has led to the most recent decisions, not only locally here in Harvard, but statewide, that masking is now optional in, in Harvard for sure. And so that's a good opportunity for us to uh, allow parents to make that decision about masking. I was uh, at Crosby just today walking around and it seemed like it was about 50-50 and everyone's starting to become used to that fact that you can make that decision as a family for self and kids are being great with you want to wear a mask or don't they don't really care it's just real great and the other big piece of news from last week was that now the masks are optional as well on buses we've been required to ask everyone to wear their mask on buses but that's now changed so now in every venue you attend whether it be athletics or bus or being in the classroom Masks are fully optional. It's a great sign that we're moving out of this stage of the pandemic and hopefully we don't find ourselves back in that uh, because 23 months we've been in this situation and it's good to be uh, having some signs of progress that we're moving forward. I'm going to give another plug for our five essential survey. Remember the five essential survey is done by our students at some grades and all of our parents. And we're always trying to capture as many parent perceptions to give us some feedback about the school. So remember that five essential surveys you're going to continue to get email reminders on how to take that survey and we're required to reach a certain threshold so we need as many people as possible to do that so please take a couple minutes to do that the survey is to be completed by march 11th so we're going to really amp up our publicity to get everyone to participate in that but please do take the time if you can to share us uh, your thoughts on the schools what's going on we really value that and it teaches us a lot about how to get better and move forward and speaking of feedback, we have another opportunity for you to share with us some things that would help our district improve in terms of our website. You remember back, it was over a year ago, January of 2021, when we launched our new website. And that's always a big effort to get all the things from the old website into the new website, make it all work, make sure all the links work, and it's a big process. And what we haven't done yet and where we feel like we can make some improvements is on how the website works. And so to do that, we're gonna have some parent forms. So you'll see on our website, an invitation, and you'll also see a notice in email of an opportunity to do have some fun with us. What we're gonna do is have parents look at our website and we're gonna actually ask you, how can our website be more user-friendly? What are some things that would make it work better for me? And we're gonna have some activities and help you asking you to find some things perhaps. It'll be an interactive Zoom meeting where parents from any school, whether you're at Washington or the high school, can get on the same Zoom link and we'll really listen and ask questions and have an opportunity to find out how can our website be improved? Because we know now that we've had it up for over a year, we can look at it. So this is kind of our 2.0 of the website, how to redesign and make it even more user-friendly for all of our families. I had a senior uh, graduate from high school last year, and I remember this time of year being a very busy time for her in scholarship applications. And just want to remind all senior families that scholarship applications are due in the next two weeks. You can turn that in to uh, Ms. Miller at the guidance office at the high school, or there's a, a lot of ways to communicate with them, but that's really important that you really look through that. That's on the high school website. We wanna make sure that everyone understands all the opportunities to apply for scholarships and further those educational opportunities. We have some new scholarships, which we're really excited about, and some good money scholarships that have really been brought to us in the last year. So look into those opportunities for your senior, and help them get those college opportunities started with a little bit less hurt and pain for your pocketbook. So believe it or not, we're doing signups and gathering information about those who want to participate in all the rich opportunities we have to offer this summer in the school district. We're fortunate enough to have a lot of different programming from athletics all the way to our REACH program that offer kids an opportunity to be out and about and involved in good activities all throughout the summer. So if you go to the link, it's the main link or the main page on our website, look at all those summer opportunities. I think you might be surprised at all the things you can do to keep your kids involved, whether it be athletics or academics or fun things at REACH. There's a lot of things that we're planning this summer for our students and we hope you get involved. And of course, uh, allow me to brag about our students a little bit. We're really excited about the success most recently of our wrestling team that went down and got fourth place at state. Uh, we're really proud of that. That is no small thing to keep going and uh, stay on Wade and do that. Our wrestling program, as you know, has a story tradition and this just adds another chapter, bringing home a state trophy is an incredible accomplishment and we're really proud of those guys. And on the same weekend, 
two of our students qualified for nationals in the Business Professionals of America competitions is the first time we've ever even been. And so to qualify two students for this national competition is a feather and cap to our business program, our advisors, and frankly, our whole school. It just shows once we put our Harvard kids, we put high expectations for them, and let them know what they can do, they thrive and shine. It's a really a good example of our Harvard Rising story and all the amazing things going on right here in the district. And speaking of Harvard Rising, it's that time of year where we're already thinking about our staffing for next year. It's really a difficult market right now in education. There are a lot of jobs. And just this week, we opened our, all of our advertisements for all of our open positions for our teaching and our certified and licensed staff. So there are a lot of positions open. If you go to our website and look under careers, you can see all the open positions. So if you know talented educators, people that are in the classroom, uh, administrators, let them know these links because we're looking to find the very best people we can to fill our classroom and be next to our kids. We have a lot of opportunities available. In March, later in March, we expect also to have all those non-licensed, our ESP and our associate positions also because we have a number of those positions to fill too. So please come join our team. We're looking to find the very best people and make our kids' experience in our schools even better and better. Thanks everyone. Have a great week. Thank you.